Yeah, mate. Handy. of Angelica or three. Oof, it's seven, fuck.
Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Let's go. <clears throat> Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, <coughs> let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. <clears throat> Shout out OG Triple Tone. Thank you. Now. Thanks for tuning turn. in again. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up. Up. Oh, hey, proper. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, oh, for your first Mickey. Lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. This is hectic. This will take some getting used to. <laughs> This is brilliant. We're doing it easy, mate. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? <clears throat> this next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Ah, oh. you can even fucking what a view. chuck in the um. Hello. Nice day for a flight. Fucking cruise control, mate. Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? Ah, <laughs> oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Fucking sus the music as well. <clears throat> Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance Ooh. once in a while. <clears throat> I tried to loop the loop. That oh, doesn't let me. Good. I've got this. Oh, well done. Have a moment. Cosmos. Eyes. 
say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? <laughs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is ever applied so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Um, L2 for a burst of speed. <laughs> now that's Jesus. like it. <laughs> you sure you're not part of it, Griff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Jesus, he's fucking fanging it. Have you two been? <laughs> oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor. Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather <clears throat> good fly. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Handy. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Oh, Handy gonna go buy a fucking. If I could afford the new bright spark broom at Spin Twitches, I'd be on it now. <clears throat> what the fuck is this? Secret rooms. Oh. Uh, what's this? Oh, uh, me. <clears throat> How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Hey, Mike. Good day to you. 
I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Hmm. Ah, new face! Wonderful! Hi, mate. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew one's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Hmm. What happened you here? Said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spent witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Handy. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What Won't be able to afford today? any. Oh, don't worry about me. I got bulk cash. That item is of the highest quality. Ooh, handy this one. Are you there, Mike? Help me pick a broom. Oh, this one's Mickey as well. It's got the fucking that storage. That item is of the highest quality. Ah, this one's like green because the Slytherin. That item is of the highest quality. This looks Mickey. It's got to be that one. Yeah, handy this one. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Nice, mate. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some <sighs> enhancements. Go on. Handy. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. Honey. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Terms of the try, how do you remember? Why am I right? You... Yeah, I'll just talk to That sounds there, intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time nice trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Oh, what? I can't fly here. I can't help but admire Mr. Wheat's enthusiasm. <clears throat>
How do I remove this fucking yellow thing? Do this one. If I thought I could compete, I was standing behind a till counting. In the market for potions, are we? Hey, Perry. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. Oh. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Yeah, I'll help I'd be you. happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, <clears throat> truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully, she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. I want a tip circle. Oh, mate! Get the fuck off me! <laughs> Are you serious? Fucking you! Some bad cunts here, apparently. Spiders. Let's see what's up with me this time, Marlin. Revelio. Oh, happy days. Hey, Mike, you there? Michael Mirza.
Oh fuck. Fucking wolves everywhere. Oh, actually, all of me are. Hmm. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Oh, ho. here's a pleasant surprise. What are you up to now? That Pippin should have been here by now. Hi, Fatima. Madam Luang? I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. <sighs> Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. <laughs> it seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us have to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them. But certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. 
What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Mm. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm not offline. <clears throat> Fraser, you want to see my fucking broom? Look at that. It's fucking fresh as my. Suss that out. It's on fire. Fucking. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Oh, no damage. Oh, Mickey. Does yours look hectic? Buy brooms. <clears throat> yeah, I bought one. <clears throat> I bought this one that I have. Take ten years. Let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Oh, fresh. I actually write that. Rip the colors, my rip the house colors. to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Of course not, mate. Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. How are you ticking your dog? <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care.
Oh, it's pretty big. Ish. All right, let's go fucking see best mate. Oh, Fraser, what's um? Where is it? I got this air raids. I saw I saw a, a video on it on YouTube. Is it headway? Give me one second. One second, somewhere. Here, where is the room of requirement? Gotta go through a cage. How do I get the room of requirement? Cause I saw like you can fucking like do your own shit there. This shit's hectic as well. This is Mickey. Got four points, but I don't know what to get. Spin the same as a curse on enemies. Wesley! Alright, Mickey. It's like The Sims. Get the magic dash thing. Oh yeah, I think I did already. I haven't, I haven't had a chance to use it though. Is it hold? Yeah, this is Mickey. Look at that. Fucking hell. Not about me, bud. Yeah, bud. <laughs> yeah, I know it's better than that. Yeah, it's mad against bosses. What else? Like, I read up. I read up. Like this shit up here looks fucking crazy. That's shit. Two projectiles. Hmm. Oh, that's Mickey. Um, all right, what are we doing? My young friend. Incendio. That Chris gives you <laughs> the room of requirement. Not this one with Sebastian, the other one, huh? You're probably talking about your oh, shit. Oh, it even, it even says it there. <laughs> learn a curse with... Oh, so they full make you learn curses. I thought it was, um... I thought it was, um... What's the word? I thought it was, um... What's the opposite of compulsory? Over here. 
I thought it was that. I thought only can, you can choose to, to learn dark shit or not. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Yeah, you're an AG, mate. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here no, is the best optional. place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment in the Undercroft. Optional, yeah, that's not what I was looking for. Professors know about this place. But compulsory to do this curse with fucking Sebastian. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's one of the so no one sees us. Yeah, but surely it's like still bad to learn a dark thing, um, dark magic spell, you know what I mean? How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He lived at the Uncrafts. We used to play gobstones here all the time. Rebellion with my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. Don't worry, he no never speech. confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't... Jerry's dark arts. <laughs> we used Rebellion. to see almost daily. We've never been caught. Come on. Pushnia. Bit chilly. Get this one out, you know. Instant. <laughs> I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. 
Cicadas. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Oh, this isn't even a spell, it's just like a fireball. Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. <laughs> have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. But I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Hmm. Confringo! Nice work! How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it! I think I've got it. That's hectic. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Go oh, on, Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, is she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? Oh. I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. <laughs> and yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. Let's tell him. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. I got your bras. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl.
Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there. I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Gonna set Sebastian us down. going to get an earful about this. No one around here is going to stand for that. Resource indeed, your field guide. Any day over an I'm most pleased to be included. Wouldn't it be Fuck, come on. Rebellion. Oh, fuck that shit.
Lumos. Expelling on us. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. Lumos. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, Ravelli. Where is Deke? Hmm, must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my Lumos. classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. <sighs> Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note <laughs> that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Lumos. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Incendio! Lumos! Incendio. 
Rebellion. The fuck? This isn't as precarious as it looks. Lumos. An intruder! Stop them! Rebellion. No, not... That's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Something not gonna work. Lumos. self managed to get around it here. What was that? Lumos. Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Lumos, repair it. What 
the fuck? How the fuck do I? Oh, I can't be fucked. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Lumos. Dobby. Yikes! Careful. Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered wow. this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, oh. would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. <sighs> well, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource.
I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief <sighs> lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. Yeah, you mate. should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Mickey. Disable snapping. What does that mean?
You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Aha. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Seen this? Yes, you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Potions you've brewed. Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of Requ Ruta. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? <sighs> you have here. seen this many plants here before. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Ah, oh, fuck.
Cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. of all the potions you've brewed. Good work. Shall we move on? Fucking finally. I've conjured everything I can. What's <sighs> next, Alexa? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I... Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the... ...to customize it. done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Balcony or the floor. Weasley? Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Deke 
cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Oh, dark and mysterious. Mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. Oh, fuck that. Hmm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now and you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how... itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Wonderful. I'd like to ask you about chain of course. I would like the Oh, sounds I'd like to ask you of course. Like the room to be. Oh, On another adventure, are we?
Thinking in terms of good and evil merely indicates a limited imagination, in my opinion. Can't figure out why there's such a fuss over poaching. Dumb beasts for everyone. Good for you. You're the little son. We may have an intruder in our midst. Stop right there! Your poaching days are over. Imagine how he... No witch or wizard will be... Is somebody there? Hello? Oh, oh what's the truth? Yeah, hectic, Fraser. <laughs> yeah, you can't, mate. <laughs> Wouldn't like to know. <laughs> oh, these little fucking goblin cans. Come here, you fuck up, puss. Oh shit, I didn't even fucking see that. Oh shit. Let me change it back to this. Oh, this is fucking air raids now. Oh, 
Oh, you cheeky cunt. Rock has fooled you all to your demise. Trouble's brewing, and I'm without my friends. Rebellion. do a prison make sometimes Fucking pussy. Oosh. What a big boy. What the fuck is going on? Oh, 
shit. Didn't even need to do that. Fucking run. Big boy, man. <sighs> Rebellion. Level 16, fuck. Can bring it back, produce fire bolts. Oh, handy. Sorry, just reading the chat. Mm, not the best place for an unaccompanied student. Talk about me, bud. Here we go, that'd be bad continue somewhere. These rocks have seen better days. No, 
You can feed a beast, or it can feed you, if you get my meaning. It's been ages since I've found anything worth poaching near Crankcroft. So I can wreck these cards. Oh fuck, I didn't even jury. Yeah, my. Rebellion. No bad cunts here. Don't try that. 
Rebellion. Lyondale's not half as tough as it sounds. Nothing to poach in Arringer except spiders. Not worth the trouble if you ask me. Legs are far too brittle. How unfortunate for you. Rebellion. 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 Yeah, be boys, hold on.
All right, stream, we back. Shout out to a uh, um, newly um, oh. new uh, what you wanna call it? Oh shit, this guy's got five. New version, Fraser Martin. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Yeah. Rebellion. So very weak. Reduction. What the fuck? What is that helping these guys? Oi. Would that you all wielded that power for good. Fucking Centaur, that's hectic. Look at these things. Even fucking looking. In 
Fucking hell, bro. Oh my god, this fucking game, bro. Great spider. Ah, oh, the spiders. Let's fucking start. Incendio. Revelio. Fuck, man, are you serious?
Não prestava, hein? Lumos. Oh my god. Rebellion. What does it matter if they're still alive? Concentrate on the fight. Get off me.
کامک برم لوموس Incendio. Lumos. Confrigo. Lumos. Doesn't make sense. What the fuck is that thing? It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. We have it. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Save me a lot of time and trouble. to see you again. What can I do for you today? To see you again. Farewell for now.
What can I do for you today? Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. to see you again. What are we looking for today? That item is of the highest quality. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Rebellion. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about.
If it isn't Slytherin's newest broom talent. That's me. I'll be weak, sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. Nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps yes, you I can. am competition. You Ooh. can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. Pfft, ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Oh, get off me. <laughs> this is rather fun. <laughs> uh, that's not y you must have cheated you. Oh, uh, fine. You won. <laughs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared.
Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Oh, you're back! We've something to rebellion. Re looking for today thanks for stopping by hope to see you again mr. wheat I was able to set a record on my broom incredible miss Ray's must have been shocked tell me how was the broom a little turbulent and it's wanting for a bit of speed but it fared well enough I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns I heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight. Nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethick had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. Jesus Christ. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? What are we looking for today? That item is of the highest quality. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Rebellio.
Where the fuck's the other one? Revelio. Possibly be as difficult as it seems. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent. Outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class, Summoner's Court is just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Try to be that. Fuck this game. Missed the mark a bit on that one. Oh my god. Nothing to it. A better few get I'm game for another grand. Summoner's court, the ever changing game. Akio. One for the ages. Try to beat that. I'll let you have that one. 
Lucky shot. Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. I'm not lucky, I'm simply better than you. All right, fine. You're right. You're better than me. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. Revelio. Lumos.
Revelio. Incendio. Rebellion. Nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Rebellion. Crossed wands was so much fun, wasn't it? Why don't you go and see Nurse Blaney? Yes. We'll come with you. Not a chance. Last time I was in there, she spilled a bottle of skeleton. And I swear I saw the face. I don't know. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. I received a flurry of messages from Professor Black's house elf, Scrope. Scrope sent you messages? Yes. I thought it was odd, too. He asked me to meet him and then told me to take the toast. Why would you want to take toast? To a cave under the lake. That's where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, 
I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. my young friends. To think it was beneath us all this time. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend. See now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability. The potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? I do recall seeing the memory, but I don't remember all of the details. My friend Charles and I spoke of the port key and of trials we'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long 
does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces... traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. I don't think I have. Perhaps your young friend is not as well-traveled as you think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me.
No, I swear I won't be wasting your time. And I'm grateful for the opportunity. I bet your bag is wriggling. What you got in there? Not rat tires. Oh, what do I want with a nippler? He sharp. Stole from me, he did. He was robbed by a nippler. I, that's what I'm saying. He, he's a natural. Worth his weight in galleons. Go on, then. Show him to me. Uh, uh, I if must... You're wasting my time. Ow! No, I would you never waste me, your... You little rat scratch me. Oh, 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 you can't even keep oh, hold of a rat. Where are you? If I he's ever catch a rat. Your rat, he's dead. You hear me? Dead. Uh, Get out of he's here. He's not a rat. Amateur. Where the fuck's this other balloon? Revelio. Oh. That's why you do it. Get on with those tasks. Revelio. Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work.
My office before taking it out into the world. There you go. Get in room quickly. Incendio. I think it's learned its lesson, but do continue to practice as long as you like. Kinesthesia is a powerful learning tool. Let me answer. Thank you. Good for you. Rebellion. Hogwarts is very lucky they've got protection charms, if you ask. Now, where did I set my traps? Was it Lower Hogsfield or Upper Hogsfield? Rebellion.
someone Aquí hay. Aquí hay. Aquí hay. Betting on the dragon fights was the best decision I've made. The curiosity. <laughs> 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 Rebellion. I forward to learn a resto momentum, the slowing charm. It allows you to freeze our time. Simply complete a few tasks and then come and see. Let me How nice. Your blood from Ranrock's hands. Revelio. <sighs> Revelio. You've made a mistake.
Revelio. Why do I always end? Rebellion. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. figure out why there's such a fuss over poaching. Enough dumb but You've had too much fire whiskey if you think you can outdo my take. Could hardly <laughs> last raid. <laughs> Haven't have a clue why there's such a fuss over poaching. There's enough beast flesh for everyone. <laughs> Shit.
Incendio. Lumos. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Rebellion. Too late for you to learn the error of your ways. Revelio.
Valeo. What are you up to now? Over here. 